Hello and welcome to day 157 of 365 days of running 2017 miles in this year. How refreshing was that? That was awesome. Um, soaked, absolutely soaking wet. Can wring it out, it's disgusting. Um, it's not sweat, some of it will be, um, but it is chucking it down and it was awesome. I absolutely loved it. That is the most refreshing thing ever. Um, quick thank you to Vicky Robinson. Um, saw her out on my run and I was kind of exploring some new routes and um, she showed me the way. So that was quite good for a little bit of it. So it was good to run with you for a couple of minutes, Vicky. Thanks for that. Um, so six miles complete. Really happy with that, especially in that weather. Um, that, is, that is blood, sweat and tears, determination. That is when you go out training that. And that's the difference, guys. What happens? It's that time of year when we all go on holiday. Now, if you only go on one holiday a year, which I appreciate some people will do, um, then it's good. Perhaps this doesn't apply to you because it's good to rest. It's good to have a whole week off every now and then. Once in a while, take a week out, two weeks max, but it's good to let your body have a time to settle down or maybe a week of lighter training. However, quite commonly now, You'll see people going away for long weekends. They'll do this, they'll do that, they'll do that. They'll do a long holiday. They'll do another week somewhere else. They'll do a hen weekend, a stag do, whatever it is. And what, what it results in is people saying, oh, I'm not going on a plane this year, or I'm not going away this year, and you end up going away about eight times. And what happens leading up to those times that you go away is the week leading up to it, you might drop off, you might. Although I've got to say, my guys here are pulling. They, they tend to attack it. Um, but you might drop off before you go away. And if you drop off before you go away, call it a few days there, a few days when you get back, call it a week. Call it the week you're away as well. That's two weeks you've had off. If you do that four times in a year, that's eight weeks where you haven't trained. Now, if you're looking to improve your health and your lifestyle through exercise and real food nutrition, the chances are when you go away, like I did just recently when I was in Malta, I will happily eat the finer things in life. Um, it's all about balance and you are allowed to eat and drink what you want. However, if you're gonna go sit on a beach for two weeks and drink, 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 and undo all this good work, and you're gonna do that for eight weeks of the year, then you can't be surprised at the end of it when things haven't changed. And this is just the real truth that no one ever speaks about. Everyone puts bells on it and dances around it. Oh yeah, you'll be all right, you'll be all right. But the truth is, can you pack your kit? Can you do something to make that lifestyle improved while you're away? Is there something you can do? Okay, so obviously you'd have seen, if you're watching my vlog regularly, that I, I ran and I ran and I ran in Malta. That's because I've got a big ultra marathon coming up and my goal this year, other than doing 2017 miles in this year, is to absolutely make sure that I complete that 70 mile ultra marathon that I failed last year. Without a doubt, that is what I'm gonna do. So, I went away and I ran. That was really obvious for me. But can you take your, can you take your gym kit, nip in the gym at the hotel if there is one? Can you go for um, a two or three mile run and then maybe walk back? You know, can you integrate exercise when you're away as well? Because holidays are coming up. And holidays really show me as a trainer whether people are serious or not, you know. The amount of guys here behind me in spin this morning that have either been away already or are going away in the next week or so. And their dedication and commitment is second to none. It's phenomenal. They've got it. They've got it in their head and they go away and they do it. And they do change their lifestyle while they're away. They don't go mad. Of course they relax and enjoy themselves. But they will take their trainers and they'll have a little run down the promenade. Or they will, they will do a little hit session to Gillian Michaels. Um, you know, it's absolutely brilliant, the commitment here, but is the commitment really out there for people that want to change their life? Because if you want to change your life, you need to go out there and you need to believe that you can change it, and that includes when you're on holiday. Just another quick thing, we're after half term here, same topic, but because well, we're after half term, 15 weeks, 15 weeks of the year that you could potentially miss out on training. Now, if you miss 15 weeks of the year, I'm sorry. Whatever your goal is, you are not gonna achieve it. And that is just the truth. If you wanna take 15 weeks off, be my guest, but don't come moaning if you're gonna um, 
if you're not going to get results. Because in the fitness industry, what we'll find as trainers is that lots of people come to us and you ask them how many weeks they've had off of the year and they've had as many weeks off as they have been working out. And I think that's the crucial thing. Can you make sure that you do something when you're away, when you're on holiday? Do you believe in the process to continue it enough? Is your goal meaningful enough for you to continue it even when you go away? Just some food for thought there, some things to think about. I've enjoyed my run today in that wet weather. It was awesome, absolutely loved it, completely buzzing. Um, but then I normally am. A little bit of exercise first thing this morning, always good to, to get the blood flow going um, and then just smashing the day. Couldn't be happier, in the happiest place in my adult, adult life right now. Things are looking really good. You have a great day Tuesday and I'll see you soon. Take care, boom, boom, boom.